Is the weather going to be okay for grilling over the weekend, especially on the board? You might have to dodge some rain chances. Okay. We do have the summer-like storms that are possible, but the good news is that usually comes during the peak heating hours of the day and then tapers off into the evening, so you should be good to go for the dinner cookouts and, of course, the firework displays that tend to come late in the evening. 71 degrees over Independence Boulevard. We do have the low-lying cloud cover and some patchy fog to speak of, but nothing that's really impacting your travel or things are, as things are quiet on Independence Boulevard and uh, Sharon Amity Road not seeing too much activity as well. Temperatures from yesterday to today still holding on to the low 70s. We're matching yesterday's temperatures now, but we are going to be peaking in the mid 80s later on, so slightly warmer than what yesterday had in store. We're going to get back into the mid 80s and eventually upper 80s as we head into the holiday weekend. Just know that today's going to be on the warm side. The dew points get back into the 70s, so it feels a little bit muggy. Highs get into the upper 80s as we approach the second half of the work week. A high of 88 for Thursday and Friday, close to 90 degrees throughout the weekend. You're you're closer to that average high of 90, which is what we would expect for late June, early July. We have those rain, those rain chances in the afternoon storm chances that stick around for this summer like pattern. So that moisture locked in place across the southeast right now. One of the clusters of storms heading out towards Raleigh to the east. For the most part, the Queen City dry for your morning commute. Just holding on to pesky cloud cover. And I am watching some of that rain back west going from the upstate of South Carolina, making its way into parts of Hickory and Morganton later on. Now this afternoon, 3 o'clock, I think along the I-40 corridor, we can start seeing some showers start to re-energize and redevelop. That leaks south of I-40 towards the Queen City into your evening hours. So 8 o'clock could still see some pockets of heavy downpours towards Rock Hill, Monroe. We even hold on to that moisture and cloud cover heading into Thursday morning with some pesky showers coming back late in the day and then the intermittent rain chances lasting into your Friday. About a third of an inch possible between now and heading into Thursday. Not ex ex an exceptional amount of rain wherever the the rain sets up could see some heavy downpours embedded in that we are tropping, tracking uh, two more disturbances in the tropics that have the potential to develop over the next couple of days. Your 4th of July weekend forecast coming up. Highs in the 80s, overnight lows in the 60s to near 70 degrees throughout the weekend, though. You're looking at upper 80s near 90 with about a 50% chance of those afternoon showers and storms.